you get question number 155 how does christ help us at our death if we trust in him christ comes to meet us and leads us into eternal life not death but god will take me says saint teresa of lisieux in view of jesus suffering and death death itself can become easier in an act of trust and love for the father we can say yes as jesus did in the garden of gethsemane such an attitude is called spiritual sacrifice the dying person unites himself with the christ sacrifice on the cross someone who dies this way trusting in god and at peace with man and thus without serious sin is on the way to communion with the risen christ our dying makes us fall no farther than into his hands a person who dies does not travel to nowhere but rather goes home into the love of god who created him Romans chapter 14 verse 8 would say if we live we live to the lord and if we die we die to the lord so then whether we live or whether we die we are the lords Sintrisa of Avila would say i want to see god and in order to see him i must die Sintrisa of Lisieux would say i am not dying i am entering life Question number 156 What is eternal life Eternal life begins with baptism it continues through death and will have no end Even when we are simply in love we want this state of affair to last forever God is love says the first letter of St John First letter of St John chapter 4 verse 16 Love says the first letter to the Corinthians never ends First letter of Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 God is eternal because he is love and love is everlasting because it is divine If we are in love we enter into God's endless presence Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8 would say but do not ignore this one fact beloved that with the lord one day is as thousand years and a thousand years as one day god bless you all